Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Marco 3D. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a 3D scene on Punk 3D and export them to augment the reality using Arlupa. Let's go! As you can see, Punk 3D has a lot of tools and I will teach you how to work with them in your 3D model and create your own scene. So let's get this over with. When you open the Point 3D, you're gonna see this right screen. A really important thing that I will teach you is this right screen don't show up on your 3D scene. It's just a reference for you to use on your scenes. The first thing I do when I open Point 3D is click here on 3D view. When you click here, you're gonna see your scene change. And for you navigate on Point 3D, you're gonna use your right click of the mouse. When you click and hold, you can turn the camera as long as you can. And you can use the scroll of the mouse for pan your scene, okay? Let's go! Point 3D has a really good tool for us to work with 3D model. This tool calls Library 3D. I will click here, as you can see, Point 3D has a lot of models already done for us to drag in your scene. You can type here whatever you want. I will type here cat in Portuguese and choose our cat here. Let's pick this one. And as you can see, my model comes with the side buttons and I can use them to manipulate my model how I want to. So let's suppose I want to rotate this sketch. I just have to click here, hold my left button, and if I hold shift, you're gonna see a snap on the angle. When you are satisfied, you just have to release the button, okay? If I want to rotate on X axis, I just have to click here and do the same thing like I'm doing right now. And these buttons are really really good and you're gonna use them all the time. I really like this one. As you can see, a grig show up when I click on this button. And this grig helped me to put my model on the scene in the right place. Now I will delete this cat and we start to create our 3D scene. I will type here track and drag and drop this one. As you can see, I will zoom in and out with the scroll of my mouse. I will merge this track with some cars and put them on augment the reality. Let's go! So, the first thing I will do is go to QD scene, drop my scene on this position and now I can click here on 3D scene I don't like this right screen, so I always drag my scene on the top, just for me to work with them isolate. This is my way to work. For you to rescale your model, you just have to click on this edge of the rectangle and click and drop as you want, okay? Point 3D is a really interactive interface and you can work with your 3D whatever you want, okay? As you rotate your camera, you're gonna see the rectangle he is adaptive on your scene and you can do whatever you want like rotate your scene let's drop some car on my scene and work with them so I'm gonna click and type car and let's pick this one this first one and now as you can see my model is really large and first thing I will do is rescale and now I'm gonna put right here and how can I put my model on my track? You can do this from two ways. The first one is just drag and drop in the Z scene and this grid will help you to see whatever your model is, okay? So now I just have to drag and drop in my track now it's really good and I will see on the top and put 
thing and put in this way now it's really really good guys let me take you a new tool let's suppose i want to paint this 15 number i just have to click on the pencil click and hold with my left button and when i am satisfied i can release the button you can do that for whatever you want let's suppose i want to delete the number 15 and put another color I just have to click on the pencil, choose the color on my palette, I will choose the color white and click and hold the left button until I am satisfied. This way I can delete all the number and I will teach you how can I delete and put another number in the place of this one, ok? Let's go! Let's suppose I want to another number from my car, okay? How can I do that? The first thing you need to know is the point 3D don't work with Q3 test in 3D scene. So you have to create a 3D test queue, okay? I will click on test and here text 3D. And now I can click with my left mouse and click and hold and now I can type the test I will put the number 17 as you can see my model is really really big and now I can click and decrease the number I will put on 20q and now I just have to press enter to confirm or just click on the scene as you can see, my number is really really good, but my model has this thickness and I want to adjust them. So I click here, just to drag and drop, and now how can I adjust the thickness of my model? I can rotate my camera, just for the adaptive rectangle change, and now I can click here and here. Now my model is really good and I can rotate them with the spin and now you just have to play with these buttons until you put your 17 number in the position you like it. I will do this right now and after that I will come back. Hey guys, let's suppose that you want to change the 17 number for 15. You cannot do that after you create the 17. You have to create a new 3D text, okay? So, now guys, I'm gonna use all these tools I take you to create a whole scene. I will put a lot of cars on my scene and I want you to put all the 3D models that you want in your scene and after that I will come back. Hello guys, I am back, as you can see I put a lot of cars on my scene and I'm gonna save my scene. I'm gonna have to click menu and save yes as project punk 3D. I will put the name track and let's wait for save and now I'm gonna teach you how to put this 3D scene on augmented reality using Arlupa. The first thing you need to do is go to Google and type Arlupa. Now I'm gonna enter on Arlupa Studio. Now you're gonna have to put your account and log in the Arlupa Studio. After you log in your account, you just have to click here. Create a new experience, mark less, next, choose a GLB file, allow cookies, now you're gonna come here on your scene, click in menu, save as 3D model, and you're gonna choose the folder you want to save your model, I'm gonna choose the name track, GLB, I'm already saved, 
by I am gonna do that again and now as you can see I save my scene on my desktop so as you can see here my 3d scene is already good and already created you can see a preview on 3d visualizer of the windows and now I can have to come back here and put the name I want you track track scene and as you can see here we need a preview image so I'm gonna come back here and choose the capture tool from the windows and make a new one and I'm gonna save it as my preview image preview ok now I just have to choose this one preview ok and now I'm gonna choose the glb file I created I'm gonna come back to my desktop and choose track and I click next now guys if you see your 3d model like I am seeing you're gonna know that everything works really fine you just have to click on publish and wait for the 3d model upload to Arlupa app hello guys as you can see my 3d model is on my bag I will zoom in and zoom out just for you to see the quality of the model 